All right, so we have our bubble diagram here. So this is going to progress then. So this is just a general idea of all the things that we want and need and general placement. It's not really too worried about doors. We kind of visualize this coming together in like just a, it's like a box. It's like a rectangular, rectangular box, a single floor plan. Okay, so we're going to turn that into this. So you can see we have our great room, kitchen, dining, it's all going to kind of be one. We have our bedroom, closet, bathroom, and porch. So before we draw that, it's going to turn into more at a go and so show, it's going to show you where it's going. So make sure you draw lighter lines because we're going to make the walls thicker. We're going to actually give it like dimensional like width to it. And then we're going to put windows and doors and just rough sketches of the kitchen. So make sure that you kind of draw lighter lines because you're going to want to erase out spaces for the windows and the doors and stuff. Right. So let's first just look at this. I'm going to grab another sheet of paper. I feel like I said, if you have grid paper, probably easier, but I'll be up to you. So let's see. Uh, as far as size and scale, I don't have an exact thing for you, but just try to make it proportions as possible. So let's see. If it helps you, have this PowerPoint open if you want to just kind of go off of that rather than watch me draw. You can have that open off to the side instead. So let's see. Can I do here? Show both at the same time. I am together. Okay, to be able to see what I'm drawing at the same time, we have the power. Essentially, what we're doing here. So I'm just going to start, but I'm just going to make the walls give it a little thickness. I don't have an exact measurement. We're just going to give it yeah, some bit of thickness here. Drawing the whole outside border first. It doesn't have to be perfect, we're just hand sketching here. Oops, that wasn't supposed to be double walls around there. Messing up already. Right, so also on OneNote, you will see floor plan symbols. It's a pretty basic here as far as like the toilet and the windows and doors. Make sure the doors swing in the, the way that you want it to. So picture yourself walking into a room, which way that's going to swing. Looks like we have a pretty large window in the back of the chair. I 
so to make sure you draw kind of light the first time around. Single colored door. Yeah, my proportions might be a little off, but that's what it is. Does anybody notice something? Oh, I see what's going on. So this is weird. So we're going to have like a stand-up shower here in the corner. That's what this box the X typically is a stand-up shower, and almost like that, like that on that one. And we got our sink. And we'll have our water closet. Also known as the toilet. You guys are probably figuring out seeing already why every paper would be much easier, but what do we got today? So what's weird about this, if it's a one-story, I guess like an apartment building, how do you get in? Just through the porch, it's on the front door. It's really small. A little, it's like one-bedroom studio in this one-bedroom apartment. Dining room down here.
So the whole big purpose of this is kind of get you an idea of how you're going to draw yours for your home that you live in, just for the first floor, remember. Just simple shapes, nothing crazy. Sink. I'm just kind of going around making my lines a little more thicker and darker, just make them definitive so I can just kind of see it a little bit better so I'm doing now. Yeah. Now typically in a floor plan and the ones that we're going to be doing in AutoCAD, once you have yours uh, just kind of planned out, because you're going to do, it's actually going to be three, so you're going to end up doing another into the bubble diagram. We do. No, I lied. We're not doing that again. Oh, backwards. Anyway, so in your AutoCAD floor plan, you are not going to be drawing furniture. You're putting things like toilets and the sinks and refrigerators and appliances. Any movable furniture will not include. But just for the sake of discussion in this one. For this, I've won a hotel vacation trip six times already this week. Keep these people. Now um, let's put up the other one with the furniture, just for the fun of it. Now I'm going to add in just kind of a rough idea of where some furniture can be. If you want to change it, if you don't like that round table that's on there, uh, make a rectangle. So that's what I'm going to do. I don't like round tables. You're a waste of space. I'm going to do a rectangle one. You can see my drawing, my sketch for it. It's nothing elaborate. You can just you can tell exactly what it is. It's just kitchen table. And if you are selling this, perhaps maybe selling this floor plan or going to rent it or something, so you're the person who's in charge of this, you want to be able to see something like this to show your potential customers and clients a floor plan and layout so they can see, oh, a bed can fit here, it'd be nice with a couple of nightstands. There's a nice walk in closet. These dashed lines and drawing are shelves. China cabinet it seems like a hutch right here. And how is room for a TV? Big flat screen in the corner. And what I would actually do, what I'm going to do, I'm going to change this because it's 2021, and I don't want to put that flat screen in the corner. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to cover up that window and put that flat screen TV right here. TV. Change that to Couch here. Do a big L shaped couch. Okay. 
the portions from way out of the sea. Chair. I really got all this empty space here. I might even go to put a little, little island, a little prep island. Some stools there. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> So the furniture, you can do exactly what I did, or you can use your imagination a little bit and kind of redesign it. It's all kind of up to you. Again, the purpose of this is to kind of get you used to drawing again and mapping out the house that you live in and what's there. So when we get to this next week drawing out your house, you don't have to draw every little detail. If you have a shelf, your mom's got a million pictures on it. You don't have to label the shelf. If you have big furniture, that's cool. If you want to make it simple like this, keep it simple, but you don't have to do every little thing like that. I encourage you not to actually. All right, so we got our kitchen, obviously. I'm just going to put two down. I'm just going to do C elegant for closet. Yard for bathroom. And I'm just going to call this There you go. Look at that person could live here. One person could, maybe a couple, small dog, little okay. key. Right, so still have a few minutes. And you don't have to do this, but just kind of talk about the design of this. What this probably is, imagine like a bunch of condos. So this is like your main entrance going into here. And then the other side, probably like a courtyard. It's probably like rocks and bushes and stuff out here. And on the other side, this way, would probably be the door for someone else's place then. So it'd be another identical one, like across like the little walkway here. And on the other side, would probably be another structure just like it. Going to be the next, you know. So, this is apartment number one. This might be apartment two. So that probably would be happening in something like this. So, then again, if you feel like being crazy today, you want to start drawing the next one by a little courtyard. But I, don't, I like doing this kind of stuff because you can see I'm going with this already. It's just, ideas are flowing.
Okay, so while you guys are still finishing up this last part, let me talk about the next assignment things. I want to see you on Monday because I have to meet with EDD. So let's get moving on our next one then. So let's see, bubble diagram. Oh, when you're done, don't forget to take pictures of it. And again, you're better about putting due dates on here. But it's okay if you don't get your picture on today. Try your best within probably by Monday though. One. Okay. So in this first one here, in one note says eight. January 21, drop on the bubble diagram that we did and the sketch that we just made. And then the next one here, your bubble diagram, that's going to be until Monday, but I'm going to put, I'm going to put a date from um, So let's get started over the weekends. I want to see you Monday, so you can just get start, start doing that over the weekend on Monday on your own. So what you're going to do, you're going to do one of the main floor and first slash first floor of your home. So if you have multiple stories, don't include your basement. If you live in an apartment, just your one first level. Um, if you have, like I said, a two-story home, do include where the stairs are at, though. Does anybody have two stories in your house? No one? No. Well, if you do, just make sure you do that. Just make sure you put where the stairs would be are at going upstairs. And put an arrow whichever the directions or stairs are going up or down. Um, and if you do have a basement, make sure you leave the space where the, where the hallway to the basement stairs would be for there, too. So still don't draw the upstairs or the basement, but do include where the stairwell is at though, the best you can. Does that make sense? Okay, so bubble diagram, start with your center one. Start with your main living room and just branch off from there. You probably have a dining room and a kitchen and bathrooms and other ones around it. Uh, and then sketch your picture. So did put on here, include dimensions. I'm going to get rid of that. Don't do, don't do dimensions. Let's just do a basic sketch of it. So here is a sketch example. Here's a really good one drawn out with a, with a ruler and all the dimensions. Don't worry about the dimensions and that stuff. Just an overall layout of your room. If you want to do furniture, go for it. Um, but I'm just looking for windows and doors, just a basic layout of where all your walls are at. So if you want to get detailed, if you got time or having fun with it, by all means, go ahead and draw where the beds are at and tables. But I'm just looking for windows and doors and general placements of your first floor slash main floor of your house. So you have a ranch to the whole part. You guys got it? And you want to hold their sketches up to the camera? You got a grip paper page? Good. All right, that'll be easy for you. Thank you. How'd you do, Aldo? Cool, you got it. Hey, good. go ahead and use, continue using notebook paper if you want. No problem at all. Anyone else want to share? Jazz, did you do it? Yeah. Cool. 